Hey, while you in the first five seconds of the video, go ahead, like and subscribe. Shalom Israel, this is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right, I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Shalom. Good sister, but you also have to get the proper understanding as well too. So right now we're going to give you some proper understanding on this particular scripture in chapter in Proverbs. Read that. The book of Proverbs, chapter 3 and verse 31. Uh -huh. Envy thou not the oppressor, and choose none of his ways. Read it again. Envy thou not the oppressor. Sisters, who is, what nation of people oppress the so-called blacks and Hispanics? The whites, the Caucasians, right? You agree with that, sister? So it said, envy not your oppressor, and do what? And choose none of his ways. So, and choose none of his ways, sisters. So, the reason why I went there is because we have to come out of the ways of our oppressors. Some of the ways of our oppressors are the hair coloring, right? Because what is your natural hair color? It might be uh, black or gray, right? Getting gray? Huh? Black, black right? It so. Gray. It ain't gray, uh, gray yet. Okay, good. I'm just, you know, just trying to throw something out there. But yeah, it's black, right? That's your natural hair tone. So you have to come back to those natural colors because that's not your natural color. You learned that over here in Babylon. That's the way of your oppressor. No. You learn, I'm telling you where you got it from, sister. You got it from over here in Babylon, the way of your oppressor. Yeah, you got to go back to the natural state. My sister, with the hair on, you have to, don't, that, that's not your natural hairstyle, okay? Your natural hairstyle is a kinky tone, right? But when you put those, th that type of things on, you are, that's a way of envying your oppressor. And what that does is cause a certain, a, a certain level of hatred to yourself. Whether you understand it or know it or not, I'm letting you know. That's what that, that's what that's what oh, yeah, that does. I do, but I don't have okay, well, it, okay, it might not be woolly like the sisters right here, but it's not that texture either, though. Uh, Is it that texture? It, it came that way what over over a period of time and years, a permanent or some sort. My grandmother, my mother. Okay. My daughter, my sister, my Okay. All have this really soft, really soft, yeah. My little daughter, she got like really soft, silky hair as well. Mm -hmm. So she has the, the those traces of the, yeah, but I love it though. okay. So yeah, but love, the point, teach my kids to love their natural hair so they wear their natural hair because you know, how do you, my sister, if you don't mind me asking, you mind me asking, okay, you might be in your mid 30s, right? Um, you know, that's a compliment, so okay. We're okay, we're gonna leave it there then, right? So but the point I'm trying to no, make is I'm that 43. 43? Yeah. Okay. The time frame back then, a lot of times we grew up as children. You ever heard of something called Just For Me? Y'all ever heard of Just For Me? Yeah. The perm. A lot of my sisters grew up, right? My mother was putting Just For Me in their head. And it, what it did was fried their hair. Like now they have bad edge problems and so forth and so on. But that came from the ways of your oppressor. That's the point I'm trying to get you to understand. It comes from envying your oppressor, but God just told you not to do that. So the ways of the oppressor, we got to come out of them. Stop perming our hairs. Huh? That's the standard of beauty. Right. I understand. Well, it's the only way you can feed your family when you're going into these corporations and you're trying to work and you got to pay the bills. You have to look and come in a certain way. You don't, you don't, that's, it's, it's ways, it's all type of beautiful it's, ways you can beautify your hair naturally, sister. Is, our wives, our wives out here, they, 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 they beautify their hair naturally. Is, now, yeah. now we have to fight for that, but no, it's actually pretty hard being a black woman and you're trying to wear your natural hair. Like working out here, if you, we're not in an all black company setting, mm -hmm. majority black. When you're working around whites, Hispanic, Puerto Ricans, and things that nature, when they have the soft straight hair, or even if you're black and you got the soft straight hair, they don't want you wearing, they don't want the women who have coarse hair wearing their hair like that. They don't want her wearing this type of hair. They don't want the sisters wearing that type of hair. But you can, that's what I'm trying to tell you. You don't have to wear it as such, like just out there with an afro. If they complain about it, you can, you can, like, you can, it's, Listen to what I'm telling you. It's so many, and you should, you know this, as a woman, there's so many ways you can do your hair, especially when you got this type of hair like she got, the sister got. There's so many different ways you can do it and brutify yourself. Well, we live in a society where 
they are on women about their hair, even the men wearing their natural hair. So give, okay, give me, uh, give me Acts chapter 5 and verse 38. I mean 28. What is that? Uh, fear God rather than man? 31. Acts 5 and 31. No, let me see. I want you to listen to this, sister. Give me that. Acts chapter 5. Where you at? 5 and 31. What's your name again, sis? Huh? 29. 29. 29. 5 and 29. Because you said we live in a society where the acceptance, the acceptance or the standard of beauty is set by Caucasians in a lot of words. That's what you're saying. They set the standard of beauty because they rule. I get you what you're saying, but you got to listen to this. Read. This is the book of Acts, chapter 5 and verse 29. Then Peter and the other apostles answered and said, We ought to obey God rather than man. Read it again. Then Peter and the other apostles answered and said, Peter was a follower of Christ. You heard about the apostle Peter. Well, let's see what he said. We ought to obey God. We ought to obey who? God, society, God, boss, God, our present, God, what we doing right now, Tamika is reading God's word, and Peter said we ought to obey God, read, rather than men, rather than society, you understand that, because why, because the, the, the ways of this society is foolishness with God, you understand that, you un do you understand the ways that we walk in in today's time is God hates it, it's foolishness to him, so we going to listen to what God said over anything else. And we behoove you to do the same. That's what we are here for, for your salvation, for your good. You understand that? Okay, so let's get back. To, let's get that. Proverbs 16 and 7. Give me Proverbs 16 and 7. I hope you understand, Tamika, God, because originally said, the, the scripture said, envy not your oppressor. We got bless, our sisters that go out to these brownies, Brazilian hairstyles or, or, or wigs or what have you. Those are ways of the oppressor. God said, don't envy that. Come back to your natural estate. All right? Your natural estate is broody with God, okay? Because he made you in his image. Read. Proverbs 16 and verse 7. Uh -huh. When a man's ways please the Lord, he maketh even his enemies to be at peace with him. You hear that, Tamika? My sister, you hear that? Read it again. When a man's ways please the Lord. So when you walk in according to this Bible, say if, like for an example, you have your dress on, right? You got to dress like we've taught you that God says you to do, right? And you got to go in these corporate worlds. God said when you start to walk uprightly and do what I tell you to do, read. He maketh even his enemy. He maketh what? Even his enemy. Even your, even your boss or your oppressor or in corporate world, read. To be at peace with him, meaning it'll be at peace with you. He won't even mess with you if you could, if you walk upright. God have the ability and the power to put spirits on people. He will put a spirit on it. Don't leave, leave that sister alone. She already walking in my commandments. Let her wear her head of hell. She wanna let her wear her hair how she wanna wear it, cause she is trying to apply Proverbs three and thirty one where it says, "Envy not the oppressor." So God got the ability to put that spirit on uh, on a man and have that be happen. You understand? So let's not. We can't. We can't. Make excuses, we gotta apply what God said. You understand, Tamika? Yeah, understand. All right, so I got a, a question for you. 13 and 7. Because I got a question for you. The most high God, 13 and 3. The most high God created us in this image. You understand that? And how did God look? How did his hair look? Since that's what we're talking about, how was his hair? Yeah. It was woolly and coarse, like so called African Americans for the most part. You understand? He is the, read that. This is the book of wisdom of Solomon, chapter 13 and verse 3. With, the, with those beauty, if they being delighted, took them to be gods. Let them know how much better the Lord of them hath created, how, how much better the Lord of them is. For the first author of beauty hath created them. Hear that? Read it again. With whose beauty, if they being delighted, took them to be gods. Let them know how much better the Lord of them is. For we're saying, how much better is God than man, right? Read. For the first author of beauty. So God himself invented beauty. He set the standard of beauty. You understand that? Read. For the first author of beauty hath created them. For the first author of beauty hath created them. Meaning he did, he made you in his image. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, 
nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.